Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, help me to like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. This is a direct word to somebody. They have spoken a lot. Yeah. They have spoken a lot. And there are lot that has been spoken has broken you enough. There is a time for everything. And I hear the Lord say, shut them up. Yeah. Shut them up. Slam the door. And that negativity door. That door that they keep speaking, that door, that noise you keep hearing, that noise they have spoken too much. Your ear cannot even carry more anymore. I see this person, they have spoken and spoken and spoken and spoken, and they spoke about you to the extent that you were almost down, broken, unable to pick up your life. If you are that person, and they are still doing it now, even as I speak. They are still doing it. You still experience it everywhere. Being spoken against for no reason. Trying to just break you for no reason. The Lord says, shut the door. Shut their mouth. Shut their mouth. One thing you should know, how do you shut their mouth? Just dust it off your shoulder. Shut their mouth. Let God seal down their mouth. Don't give attention because the more you keep giving attention, the more you they have more proof to keep doing what they are doing. They see that sometimes as a weak point. They are like, yes, when we speak and speak, when we talk and talk and talk and make all these noises, he or she is destabilized. He can't concentrate. They use that one as a target to keep slowing you down. Shut their mouth. Shut them up. Whatever is it, it is in your life that is making you feel as if, oh, you keep feeling so exhausted because of the issue, because of the topic that keep coming, that because of the things that keep coming, you know, it is time for you to say, no, I will not give in to this anymore. I will not listen to this anymore. Because when you don't shut them up, it leads to destruction. Look at what happened to Samson and Delilah. Delilah was like a pest every time. Asking Samson about where his power is, the secret of his power, the secret of his anointing. You know, Samson, Samson gets so tired of the question that he have to release his secret. That is what the devil does. That time that he was shot, that Dalila was talking, 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 asking Samson, where is your strength? Where is this? Can you tell me if you love me? This, that, that, that. Somebody that loves you will not be asking you where is your strength. They can only encourage the source of your strength. What do they want to do with your strength? They want to sell it. That was what Dalila did to Samson. He, she sold the strength of Samson. Don't let them push you. Don't let them push you to that level. When they become a pest, they never, they no longer give you peace of mind. Shut them up and walk away from them. You deserve to. You deserve calmness. You deserve rest. And the Lord give you rest in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you, and I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye bye.